Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we discussed that how to replace react dom dot render method with create root. In this lecture, we will move forward one more step and that is understanding the states in react. But first, we need to understand that what is the state in react. So react state is a built in react object that is used to contain data or information about the component. A component's state can change over the time and whenever it changes the component re-renders okay and the change in the state can happen as a response to the user action or system generated events and these changes determine the behavior of the component and how it will render for example if you have a button on your component and you want to capture that how many times the button has been clicked okay you need to do this using states and whenever a user clicks on the button the respective component will re-render okay in more general way let's take another example that suppose you have a video and there are you see seeing two different buttons one to like and one to dislike okay so you may want to count the how many likes user has how many likes has been clicked and how many dislikes has been clicked okay so you can implement that using states okay now let's discuss how we're going to use the state in react we will use react hooks to implement state and for that we need to use use state hooks okay and this hook is used to manage the react states okay now let's uh, try this state into our question detail component okay so let's switch to your project directory okay and into the project directory you need to open your question detail component okay and here we will implement the example of the state or here we will see how state works and how use state work okay so first import the use state from the react okay so after line number one press enter and import the use state import use state and again use state is a hook react hook that is used to handle the state in the component okay so use state and import it from react okay and now we need to define the constant that we want to update using state or I, we need to define the state variables that we will update over the time or whenever a button clicks okay so again here as i explained in the example that uh, if we want to click uh, a count the like counts okay so we will add the like button here and we will capture that how many times the button has been clicked or how many times the question has been liked okay so here we can use use state and now we need to define the variables to manage the state here so this is how you can define the variables so let's const and here like count okay and then set like count okay and here you can use youth state and provide some initial value to it so initially it should be zero so we can provide zero here now let's look at the line number seven again that here i take two values like count and the set like count okay so like count will take the initial value as zero and set like count will be used to update its value by one or even any time when the button get clicked okay now into the return method of this component we need to add a button after the paragraph tag that will be clicked and on that click we need to change the count okay or value of the count okay so here you can add the button so let's add a button tag button and then here you can add a first let's add a class name okay so our button gets styled so we can add here btn btn primary and then let's add mt2 or mt1 okay and close this button class okay. and inside that button what we need to do next that we need to change the value of like count on or when a user click on the button okay so we can use a on click event here okay so on click is an event that is performed by user okay so whenever a user click on this button the value of like count will get updated okay and how we can do that so we know that to display the dynamic content we need to use the curly braces okay so here we can add an empty bracket 
but here if you wish you can create another function and then you can call that function here okay but uh, and since it's uh, just one line change so i'm doing here itself okay now you need to kind of set like count button sorry set like count variable that we manage here okay so just copy this set like count okay and then you need to use this here okay paste it here and inside that set like count what you need to do you need to increment the like count by one so you can add like count plus one okay first let's uh, make the word wrap okay so our button has been implemented now let's provide some text for the button and the text will be like let's say like you can add some icons here as well like the thumb icon and so on okay now the button has been implemented and when user click on this button this will set the updated value for the like count but we also need to show that this value is changing and the component is re-rendering so we need to display that how many times the button has been liked okay and we will do do that using ternary operators so we will now learn that how we can use ternary operators in react so after the button tag we need to add a ternary operator okay and we can simply use our uh, special curly braces syntax okay just to just because it is the dynamic data so we can use like count okay and we need we only need to display this like count if it is greater than zero okay initially suppose if the like is zero then why we need to show that how many times the button has been uh, sorry the question has been liked or button has been clicked okay so when the like count is greater than zero then only we need to show some text here so like count is greater than zero okay and let's add a question mark here and after the line break you can add a span tag a span and here you can add class name And into the class name, what you need to do? Batch BG primary. Okay, and then you need to close this span. Okay, and into that span, just display the like count value of the like count. So here you can simply use like count. Okay, and then since we know that what happened in the ternary operator that first the condition has been checked okay and then after the question mark if the condition is true then whatever the value is left to the question mark will be uh, displayed and else we need to display a colon and then here we can add simply a empty bracket okay now we need to refresh our browser to see the effect that whether this button is showing or not okay so let's switch to the browser and open your index page so save the file and come to the browser and now refresh your page okay but we are not seeing the like button here okay this might happen because uh, we added the new package from the react that is use state or we added a new hook so that might be the reason that uh, it is not reflecting the change here so let's restart the server now okay come to the terminal and restart your dev server and then now when this started switch to the browser and refresh your page now okay and when you refresh your page you are still not seeing the like button here let me check what is the reason so the reason is that i made a typo mistake here so you should not make this mistake so switch to the terminal and let's write from here okay, because i edit import use state form react okay so we need to fix this and now come to the browser and refresh your page again okay and when you refresh your page you can see the like button here but why it is not taking the primary class okay again typo sorry for that guys i usually made this mistake so now refresh your browser okay and when you refresh your browser you can see the like button here okay and now we need to click on this like button to see that how many times it has been clicked so when you click on this like you can see it is showing one and the component is re-rendering when you click on this again you will see it is two now when you click on another component okay and here you need to notice that uh, since i am iterating this component inside the question list okay but when i clicking on a button it is just showing the state uh, 
like count to a specific value okay it means that state are managing properly now if i click on the like of the next question then you can see here we can see the another like count another like count and so on so our state is working okay now let's take an assignment from this lecture that just like we implemented the like button you have to implement the dislike button okay and when user click on the dislike button the like count should this should be decreasing okay so you need to implement that okay and if you try that and if you succeed that i will be glad as uh, you can ping me if you not succeed then i will provide the solution okay so that's all for this lecture we cover the states here in very basic manner we will use more hooks moving forward in the course like uh, use effect and all okay but for now let's give this lecture a try at your end and complete the assignment in the next lecture we will look at another way of writing components in rails and that is the class based component okay this is the older syntax but we must be aware about that too because uh, you might get chance to work on some older read projects where the class based component files are components are there so you need to deal with them so you must have some idea that how to write class based components very slight difference but still we need to know and how to manage state inside the class based component okay because there we don't going to use this use use state to use state hooks to manage the state okay and we will that we will see that in upcoming lecture okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe